Mark Griffith here and welcome to RC Hacker. Now for this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm just going to um, let it play. I'm going to cut between cameras, but I'm not going to cut anything out of the actual filming that I did. Just so you can get an idea of uh, what I do when I made an aircraft. Anyway, let me know what you think and uh, let's go. Alrighty, as promised, here's the maiden of the nonocopter. A lot of wind, so excuse the mic noise, but uh, let's give this a go. Now I really should have trimmed that string off, it almost got stuck in one of those props. I'll tell you now, she's, even though she's incredibly windy, she's very stable. I don't know what that bee thing's all about. Now this is with no stabilisation at all. We're just on acro mode at the moment. Now this battery is fully charged, so I don't know what's whining. The um, low battery alarm I've got on it is not the normal one I use. Right. Now this is the second airframe that I've built using this design. So I used all the previous PID settings and mixing settings directly from the last airframe that I had, which was pretty much the same except a little bit heavier. Oh, it flies all right. <laughs> So I'm just trimming out the auto level because I haven't flown it with this KK2 yet. I'll give that a bell. Now one thing about this design which I like a lot is the uh, extra yaw that you get out of having that yaw motor there. You get the stability of a quadcopter with the extra yaw performance of a tricopter. And if that rear servo fails for whatever reason, there's still a bit of uh, torque programmed in so it can turn using the other motors if need be. Back on Acro now.
Let's not push it, eh? Oh. Alrighty, done, success. Now to put some FPV gear on it. And, and probably a bigger battery as well because uh, that's a bit too much current for that little battery. I mean, it's got a bad cell. What do uh, the motors draw each? Not that much. What have we got that set on? 3.75, 3.77. 3.8. What have we got the alarm set on? 11.3, I don't know. Press the button, it will tell you. Dropping right down to two point. Two point eight volts under full throttle. Yeah. That's definitely need a bigger battery on that. Yeah. Hey, our battery's a bit old. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there and thank you for watching. If you'd like this format, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Next time, I'm going to uh, upgrade that battery and put some FPV gear on this airframe. Actually looking forward to it. Uh, with all the FPV gear, this thing is really actually quite a pleasure to fly. And this one's a lot lighter than the one my previous version of it. So looking forward to getting this one sorted out. Anyway, subscribe, all that good stuff down below and I'll catch you next time.